I'm Kevin Price with your Price Point Edition. Do you want to remind you to check us out at usdailyreview.com and priceofbusiness.com, the radio website for the Price of Business show on Business Talk 1110 AM. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the importance of saving a tree by not recycling. Yes, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but uh, the truth is is that 83% of all trees that are in the United States right now are being raised for the purpose of producing paper. 83%. So think about a, ro- a robust and successful paper recycling program. That would that would begin to cut into the production of trees. Doesn't that just simply make sense? The more uh, we need the paper, the more trees we have in the process. Meanwhile, the environment as a whole gets the blessing of trees, which help provide for uh, better oxygen, uh, actually has a profound impact, impact on environmental errors and gases. And so if you want to encourage a healthier environment that can come through more trees, then the last thing you really want to do is recycle. I know it sounds it sounds bizarre, particularly in the culture that we're living in. But it's kind of indicative of this this problem that we have of not thinking consequentially. We want something, and so and so we go for it in the in the effort to get one thing, but we don't see the implications of it going forward. You know, and so people wonder, well, how in the world do we have the result of all these trees because of the fact that people want more paper. Well, it seems very logical to me, but it's also kind of analogous to the fact that, uh, the, think about this question for just a second, what animal is the most consumed in the United States of America? By humans, the number one animal, and probably by <laughs> some other animals as well, but the number one animal is chicken. We eat more chicken than beef or anything else. Yet at the same time, we have more chickens than any other birds. It, it seems, you know, it doesn't seem to make sense. Well, the thing about it is those chickens are owned by individuals and therefore they're private property and therefore we have the result of uh, a robust uh, abundance of chickens. It's just economics. It's free market economics of work. And that's part of the problem with our thinking today. We have a generation, now multiple generations, that don't know how to think consequentially. They don't know how to think about uh, the impact of public policy. The free market works like no other methodology, no other system out there, uh, as Adam Smith described it, an invisible hand providing for the needs of, and interests of individuals uh, based on what the economy drives, uh, drives it. So it was fun. I uh, was scrolling along on Facebook, and I saw that, that little quote, save a tree, don't recycle. It was on my son Alex's uh, website on his Facebook page. And so I was very proud of my son, son quoting a, a Mises Institute article. Um, and, and I guess hanging out with me the kid got dailies with a lot of free market thinking but that's what we need more of we need more free market thinking because free market thinking is consequential thinking that's my perspective i'd love to get yours right here on the price point edition you can email me at info at usdailyreview.com 